welcome to Iceland. There's actually waves in the lagoon. In the lagoon, and people are breaking out. And we're just hiding in the corner. We just got done with our Blue Lagoon experience. And now our Icelandic adventures begin. What kind of weather have we seen in just the few hours we've been here? We've seen ice cold wind chills, we've seen hail, we've seen rain, and we've seen snow. So I don't know how much else we can see. We are in search of lunch right now. We just got to Reykjavik. Reykjavik? Yeah. One of those. One, one of those, those ones. ones. And it is freezing cold. It's really cold. Not cold enough to snow though. It should snow this week. So we don't know if we're supposed to be driving on this road. The road said it was closed. But this was the only way to the hotel. There's so. one other car track on there. Hopefully it's not another tourist like us and it's someone who actually knows what they're doing. Our car is a big 4x4 so wish us luck. we find our locations to shoot. We're driving, we see something amazing, we pull over and we hike. Whew. Look at this up here. So pretty. She's already up there. Man, we found a lake up here. Just, just you wait. Sorry for my heavy breathing. I haven't worked out in about almost two months. So I'm not in the best of shape, but look at this. Look at that.
she just ice skated across the parking lot. Luckily, I caught a car, so it stopped sliding. And we didn't fall off. <laughs> straight onto my hip. Whew! Right when I turned off the filming of the video and I was saying, oh, you did a great job. This ice the street. is no joke. And we had a competition going who was going to fall first. And I said, Thomas, I didn't even see that I was going to fall. What did I even fall? I mean, obviously I fell on ice. Take whatever they give you. Take whatever they give you. Especially when the next store is 87 kilometers away. I'm basically saran wrapping it. Yeah. This yesterday morning, we left our last hotel in the south of Iceland. And today at 3.20 a.m., we just got into our room in the north of Iceland. So we actually drove half a circle around Iceland. And by we, I mean I did it the entire time. She'll stay awake some of the time. Um, wasn't our original plan. We were gonna stay about halfway on the route, but we thought we would power through. But there was snow, wind, blizzard, rain, road closures, some which we were forced to follow one of which we ignored. Um, we went over a mountain pass that said it was impassable, but we did it. We did it, barely. Um, and now it's time for bed.
to go where only a few men have been before. Dip down, chill. I'm gonna go first. Hold it up so you can feel like... Look at that, that hill. Okay. Okay. I can't hold okay, it. Okay, we're ready? Okay. Ready? I'm gonna go a little first. I'm gonna go first. Okay. Three. You, you go on four. Three, <laughs> two, one. Shit! Look at the foam! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I think I broke it. Yeah! That was a terrible idea. Clean it off. Stupid idea. I can't see anything I was doing. Look at me. Elf got me. 
So we finally have real sleds. Julie's about to do an epic slide down this mountain. That's the most fun thing you've done this entire trip. It's so fun. It's one of the fun. You could just spend the whole day out here. Thank God we got real ones because that shovel was not cutting it. Good morning. Today is our last... Good morning. It's 2 o'clock. Okay. Good afternoon. It is our last full day in Iceland and we are heading out dog sledding. So... We're really Should excited. Be Should be fun. Um, today is a beautiful day. We have some sunshine. So, some blue skies. A little bit. This is our guide right up there. He's like the sweetest guy ever. Um, pretty much everybody's been really nice. to take off. The dogs are locked and loaded. How'd they do? Good. You're really good. Yeah? Yeah. Our last night, we're staying at um, what's the hotel? Hotel 101. Hotel 101. And we're heading out for dinner right now. We are heading to a place called the Laundromat Cafe. A couple people recommended it on Instagram. And we checked it out. The menu looks pretty good. Apparently, it was, it is, I'm not sure if it still is, but it started because it was a laundromat. And they wanted, <laughs> really? to, yeah. They wanted to create a place where people could do their laundry and have some good food. So, um, Thomas, you should have brought your dirty underwear. I, I'm wearing it. It's the end of the trip. Ew, I bring enough. He doesn't. I just flip so, him inside out. <laughs> oftentimes, I'll find his underwear, his <laughs> hanging up. Is this TMI? Well, hanging up it. in the bathroom of our hotel room because I have washed them in the sink. Um, there was one hotel that we stayed at <coughs> that was super fancy in Italy. No, that was France. No, it was oh, in oh, Italy, okay. Italy where they we came back to the room and there was something on the bed. It, it was like a package. It looked like a present. It was something wrapped in tissue paper with a little sticker and I was like ooh they left me a present and I opened it up and it was it was Thomas's underwear that, that they had washed they they took his dirty clothes from the bathroom floor and washed them and then wrapped them up in tissue paper and left it on the bed we could tell they washed it because it smelled amazing so yeah, that was probably the fanciest moment we've had while traveling. We are actually the driver taking us out to try and find the northern lights tonight. It's a clear night, so they're supposed to come out. And fingers crossed. So you have to get far further away from the city. Yeah, we have to get further away from the city. We don't have our rental car anymore. 
Um, so fingers crossed because it's our last night here. So we have one shot and it's the first clear night we've had. So <laughs> we really, we don't, if it doesn't we'll happen see. tonight, then wasn't we'll just, in the cards. Wasn't in the cards this trip. We'll just have to come back again in the winter. Just keep trying. Keep trying. Yeah.